All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's World Cup fever, and it has struck the Big 550 KTRS. People are geeking out all over the place as U.S. takes on Ghana a little bit later on. To talk about it is Mike Sorber. Mike Sorber was on the World Cup uh, national team 20 years ago. He played for the Bilkins. He's now the coach of the Philadelphia Union. Mike Sorber, welcome to Big 550 KTRS here in St. Louis. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And I'm not the coach. I'm just an assistant coach, just to clarify. Well, you're, 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 you're one of the coaches. Is that fair enough to I'm say? I'm one of the coaches. You got it. All right, good. Uh, what are you doing for the uh, World Cup today? Are you dressing up in your favorite uh, American player and uh, have a Vuvuzela and you're ready to go today? I'm ready to rock and roll. I do have my Vuvuzela. It's ready to, ready to blow. <laughs> uh, I actually have practiced this morning with the union. And then uh, I'll have a little bit of time to get ready for this game against Ghana. So looking forward to it. Ghana is, uh, a lot of people don't know much about Ghana, but the fact is they have beat the U.S. the last two times in the World Cup. Yeah, well, look, they're they're a really good team. Uh, they're probably the best team in Africa. Um, they have talent. They have athleticism. Uh, they have all the, the little characteristics that you would want in a good team. Uh, so when they beat the U.S.A., uh, you know, that those were tough games that we played. We were in them. We had chances to win it. But in the end, Ghana came up with uh, more goals than we did, and so they won. You know, uh, I you've forgotten more about soccer than I will ever know, and there are a lot of people who are coming to soccer for the first time to watching this, which is all part of the reason to help grow the game. Explain to the people out there who don't understand why the American team has a German coach. Uh, because that's what the president of the Federation decided he wanted. Uh, and really, that's what it boiled down to. Um, at the end of the day, he had a, uh, a good World Cup in 2006 where he was the head coach of Germany. After that, he didn't do well uh, coaching a club team. But, um, you know, he played in a World Cup for Germany uh, and then had the success uh, coach in Germany. So at the end of the day, Sunil Gulati was the president. He's the one that made the decision. The also, the controversy is this Landon Donovan didn't didn't make the team. Was that as big of a controversy as, as they're making it out to be, or was that just there's so little news that that was the, the story leading up to the World Cup? No, I think that's uh, absolutely correct, that it, it is a big story. Um, you know, Landon still is a good player and has a lot to offer. And on top of it, He's a guy who can make a play. So maybe he's not good for 90 minutes, uh, but there's no question that he's one of our uh, more dangerous players if you put him in in the second half or even for 20 minutes. Uh, he's proven he's the, the leading goal scorer for the country, the leading goal scorer in World Cups, and he still has a lot to offer. At the end of the day, the coach had a hard decision, and, and he made that choice. Uh, depending on how the results go, then he'll have to live with that. What are you looking for in the game tonight? What What are some of the keys you're going to look for? Well, the, the start of the game uh, is always important to see exactly, you know, we're a little bit concerned about our back line and our inexperience. So, you know, how many chances do we give up and can Ghana finish those off? We have you know, a really talented midfielder, Michael Bradley, who does a lot of dirty work, but also uh, sets things up. And then we have a couple guys up top, uh, Josie and Clint Dempsey, uh, who can also finish off some of Michael's passes. So, you know, how organized is Ghana? How organized is the U.S.? Uh, what's the flow of the game like? Uh, can we weather some storms? And then, you know, another big part of this game is restarts, corner kicks and free kicks. And uh, Ghana can sometimes fall asleep a little bit on some of those plays, so that's another area where we could catch them. But they're also on the offensive side, uh, because they're athletic and they're aggressive, they also score goals on, on restarts. So, you know, it's going to be a really hard game, uh, and it's the first game of the tournament, so it's really important to at least get a tie, uh, and hopefully a win would be ideal, but... It's going to be a really tough game tonight, but the whole country is going to be watching and interested to see on some of Jurgen's decisions what the lineup is, and at the end of the day, can we get the result? Mike Sorber, our guest, former Billiken, former uh, World Club, uh, World Cup member of the USA team, and now an assistant coach for the Philadelphia Union. Mike, um, yesterday 
Bosnia lost to Argentina 2-1. to one. And the reason why I bring that up is yesterday in uh, downtown St. Louis at Ballpark Village, a bunch of Bosnians got together and cheered on their, their home country. And it wasn't just a couple of guys getting together. I, it, from, from news accounts, there were hundreds of Bosnians who got together to rally around the World Cup game and to rally around their team. They didn't win, but they were so thrilled that they scored a goal. That is such a different mindset than the traditional American sports fan. Talk about that mindset for a moment. Well, for, you know, for Americans, yes. I mean, that's what makes our country great, first of all. Uh, our education system, uh, the ability to have a belief and, and be united to think that we can overcome any obstacle and we want to be the best at what we do. Bosnia, on the other hand, it was their first World Cup. So, you know, they've overcome a lot of obstacles as a country. Uh, and for these individuals, they were so excited and so passionate uh, to have their country represented in, in this World Cup. Uh, and then they're playing against Argentina, you know, a, a kid who lived in St. Louis, went to high school at Roosevelt, and then played at St. Louis University a year for us with Dan Donegan uh, at St. Louis, um, ended up scoring the goal, came on as a sub. So, you know, they've had a lot of hardships and heartaches. And so here was an opportunity for them on the world stage to be a part of it, um, to show well, actually play well in the game. They were unlucky to give up that first goal, an own goal, and then uh, Messi scored a, a fantastic second goal. But they were in the game, uh, and then they got a goal. And so, you know, it's a, a group stage where they lost the first game, but they have two more games. So they could still come in second in the group in advance. And, uh, you know, Bosnia, yeah. there's a lot of people over there that play soccer. They love it. And so they're excited to, to watch it and support it. And it's that's a, fantastic. It is, a, it is a great, great story to see. Last question for you, Mike Sorber. Mark Moser, is he a better player in reality or in his mind? In reality. Really? Mark was, Mark was really good. He was a goal scorer. He's a guy that uh, uh, could put the ball in the net. and uh, But he had talent, too. He could, uh, he could dish it off. He was... Uh, a talented guy that I grew up watching, so uh, I'll give that one reality. I hope to. I hope that he's not listening to this right now because he will be. <laughs> we will not be able to live with him here at the Big Five Fifty KTRS. Uh, Mike, All right. <laughs> Mike Sorber, Philadelphia Union assistant coach, former Billiken. Good luck today. Uh, good luck the rest of the way with uh, your season, and uh, thanks for giving us a couple minutes. Great, McGraw. Thank you. Take you, care. you got it. Mike Sorber, considered one of the greats to come through uh, St. Louis. Nice enough to. Give us a couple minutes on a busy day for him mm -hmm. as uh, he gets ready. And even though I, I make fun of soccer and make fun of fans, you know what? It's it's a world game. It's exciting to watch. It, this is their Super Bowl. This is their Olympics. It's something to get excited about. And it's nice to see the Bosnian fans so excited that their country has come so far that they're excited that they're part of the world community. Absolutely. Yeah. It's building every year, too, right? I mean, it seems like it's growing every year. Every. I mean, this thing is as big, yeah. this is as, big as it gets. Mm -hmm.